Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a sit down video. I feel like it's very different. I have not filmed a sit down video in a very long, oh no, the Saddle shot it actually. Anyways, I'm filming a sit down video. Well, um, welcome back. You've obviously read this title. This video is going to be entirely business related, like how I started my business, how to start a business, um, and like a lot of different questions about business. So I get an insane insane amount of DMs of people asking um, stuff to do with like business, how I started, um, just a whole bunch of different questions. Usually it's just the generic like I'm wanting to start a business, how do I start it, etc, etc. Which is honestly so cool, like I never ever ever starting my business, I never even thought that people would actually ask me how I did it, like I don't know why, I just never thought I would be someone talking about business. <laughs> um, but here I am, um, I'm going to answer all these questions um, because yeah I do get a lot of questions about it so I want to have a video that's kind of like dedicated to just how I did it. Basically I'm going to talk in the beginning about the more generic kind of questions about business and then I'll get into the more questions about like um, my personal business, how I did certain stuff with that and etc etc. I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you get something from it. I know not a lot of my, I not all uh, uh. I know not all my viewers will watch this video because it might not apply to you but I hope that I can help someone out that's wanting to start a business um so yeah let's just get into it if you don't know I have my own business it's called Zeta Boutique uh it is just an online boutique here in New Zealand um sorry we're based here in New Zealand but we ship to the USA Australia the UK and obviously within New Zealand um, so it would mean a lot if you could support my small business and go shop um, some of our gorgeous pieces. So pretty much the biggest generic kind of question I get is just how I started my business. I started my business a couple years back actually, so I didn't launch my business until September, but I actually started the making of it like three years ago. In the start of my business, I wanted to plan a lot. So I spent a very long time planning out what my business was going to be, what I saw it being, what I would sell. I didn't know whether I wanted to produce the clothing myself or buy it wholesale. I didn't know anything about that. So I pretty much watched a million YouTube videos on how to start a business, but more how to start a clothing boutique. I would just binge watch. It wasn't necessarily like how to videos. It was just like their vlogs and stuff of like running a business and stuff and I would kind of like pick up certain things from that. So I did intensive, intensive watching of other people's lives who owned a clothing boutique. Took any kind of notes and kind of came up with the structure. What are you going to be selling? Who are you going to be selling it to? If you're saying, oh I just want to be selling to all women. Uh, no. I feel like that's too generic and it's not going to get you very far. I feel like you need to be very specific. So for me personally, I was like, okay, I want to be selling trendy, like on trend, um, really cute clothing for about 19 years old to about 24. Um, and I wanted to focus primarily on New Zealand. So I was super specific in who I wanted to target. Like that's just a very general off the top of my head. But I went really into depth. So I, I went into depth on who exactly I wanted to target. Because then in the future when it comes down to pricing and stuff. You have to have your target audience in mind. So obviously if you're targeting a 60 year old woman. Um, she's probably going to have a bigger budget to spend. Maybe not 60. I'd say maybe like 50, 40. They're probably going to have a higher budget to spend on clothes. However, if you're targeting younger people, say 16, they're not going to want to spend much at all. They're going to want to spend $10 on a top. So for me personally, between 20 and 24 was my kind of real age um, gap that I was kind of going for. So you have to figure out what you're selling. You have to figure out who your target audience is. You have to figure out how you're going to be able to sell that. So whether it's online, whether it's in store. Then the next one is how you're going to actually get them the product. So yeah, whether you're a store, whether you're going to do click and collect, whether you're going to do delivery, you're going to have to figure out how you're going to get the product to the customer. And then you've got to figure out how you're going to like market everything, um, how you're going to get the sales, etc, etc. So yeah, that's kind of like, I don't even know if any of this is making sense, but that's kind of the plan I went by. And, and I honestly planned for probably a year straight, not full time obviously, um, but I planned for almost a year. Just like, I figured out my name. I did not confirm my name until I think it was like probably six months later. I wanted to make sure I chose a name that I like was not going to get sick of. And when I came up with, I came up with so many different names, like 
so 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 many different names and like none of them just sounded good to me because I really wanted a name that had kind of a cool like edge to it but was also like able to kind of suit the beachy vibe yeah I just wanted a good name and I feel like Zeta I loved it but what made me love it like the most was on the A how we have the like two dots I feel like that somehow ties in the kind of beachy vibe to it I don't know how I don't know why but I personally love our logo um I played around so much whether I wanted to officially call my business Zeta Boutique or if I wanted to call it Zeta and I kind of went for both um the official name is Zeta Boutique but obviously when you go onto our website it just says Zeta so everything is pretty much just Zeta but officially we are Zeta Boutique anywho so I came up with my name I registered my name that is something you have to do um I think it's with the company's office if you're here in New Zealand you have to register your name through the company's office I'm pretty sure and then you have to actually register your business so I registered my business um, I got it cost like I think it cost me like hundred and fifty dollars to register my business I think the name cost me about eighty dollars and then the business cost me about hundred and fifty that's to like I think it's incorporating it so that's how we became Zeta Boutique Limited um, we're a registered full company that's where you get your New Zealand business number so if you are wanting to get into clothing boutique as well um, and you live in New Zealand you have to have a New Zealand business number um, to purchase wholesale every time you go into a wholesale website when you sign up you have to fill out the documents and um, you have to provide your New Zealand business number um, so you definitely need to be registered to purchase any kind of like wholesale anything like that So you can't just purchase it if you're a random person. So pretty much I started by having my name I had registered my business um, I then bought myself a domain because I knew that if anyone else was to come up with Zeta or whatever and took it Then even though my name is registered as Zeta Boutique and it's copyrighted and stuff um, They could still take the Zeta domain name so I registered the zeta.co.nz I own that domain so once I had done all my kind of like legal stuff and this is just the beginning legal stuff so this is not this is nothing to do with like taxes uh, anything like that this is just literally registering my business and then I really kind of just jumped into how I'm actually gonna start this so how I'm gonna get my product this was the hardest like I'm not even kidding I probably almost gave up about 10 times like as in actually almost gave up like I'll go a week and just be like I can't do it anymore um because it is the hardest thing to do I've purchased from some places that are like a website that's already set out as if it's like you're a customer but that's just because they are a label um and so you're just purchasing their wholesale um and reselling that in your boutique but it's still their label so it won't say Zeta or anything it's still their label for me I get pretty much all my wholesale from Australia as shipping costs <laughs> like I just want to give a rough idea if you ever want to get into this business a box about this big coming from America is gonna cost you at least $200 a box coming from Australia for that much is probably about $130 maybe like a hundred is a lot and all that money has to then go into the prices so um, you have to be prepared to realize that it's not cheap starting businesses is not cheap you can obviously do drop shipping and stuff like that and you don't need to pay anything so obviously if that's what you want to do and if that's gonna work for you then go for it it's a very low startup cost but um, for me personally I start it was a very expensive um, Thing to start so that's kind of how you get your product then you got to figure out how you're gonna sell your product so for me I use Shopify I love it so much I would not use any other platform um, I do feel like it is a bit limited when I was designing my website I had to do a lot of coding because Shopify I feel like is very basic it's very good to um, understand and get started with but I feel like I did want to be a bit more advanced and I had to learn quite a bit of coding to kind of make those adjustments and stuff like that. If you can afford it, definitely hire a website designer. I couldn't. I didn't think it was um, necessary when I thought I could do it myself and I could and I did. Um, but yeah, it can be very expensive and very, very, very 
time consuming um, trying to do websites. Obviously if you want to just stick to a base template um, they offer free templates that are just like literally super easy that you can just chuck your images in and it's done. Um, personally I didn't want that, I wanted to be a bit more, yeah, as I said, advanced with my website. Um, I'm actually working on doing a complete, complete like remodel of my entire website because I feel like it's still too simple. Um, so I'm actually in the works of doing that currently selling online pretty much you just got to figure out yet yeah, your domain names how you're actually going to sell the product how the people are going to like actually um be able to purchase the products so that's just a little quick overview of that so the next thing is going to be how you're actually going to get them the product so obviously how you're actually going to get your product to the customer so this is how you're going to package the item how the item's going to look um, so for example for me I needed to get um, tags made, um, I needed to buy little clippy things that I can hang the tags on, I needed to purchase like tissue paper, poly mailers, um, thank you cards, business cards, uh, stickers, etc. All that packaging supplies um, you have to do so that you can then ship out and then you have to figure out who you're going to ship with. Um, so you can choose, you know, your local post office or I use a different company to ship my products out. Um, it is completely up to you. You just got to figure out what works best for you. You also have to figure out if you want to do international shipping. So that's how you're going to get the products like shipped out and then you also have to figure out marketing. Um, this is something I have not been on top of recently. I feel like, I feel like I just completely... I think I relied a little bit too much on myself promoting stuff, which honestly is fine, which is great. It got me where I am now. But my goal for the new year is to focus highly on marketing because being online, you know, you have to focus the most on marketing because it's all good having a great website and having great product. But if you're not actually getting the people to come look at your website, there's no point having it. So that's my goal for 2021, holy shit it's going to be 2021, that's my goal for 2021 basically is to really focus on marketing. So yeah those are kind of the top points, I'll pop, pop them up on the screen, those are my kind of how I started my business. Alright so I got quite a few questions kind of related to that, um, like how I started Zeta and stuff so I feel like that's a good enough answer to cover all those kind of questions. I'm now going to move into the more like um, specific questions about business and Zeta in particular. How did you estimate how much to get um, with stock levels, stuff like that? So yeah, so this was something I I wasn't sure about. I literally, it was l pretty much just trial and error. Um, you can never be too sure because I could buy a lot of one item and not a lot of the next one and the one that I didn't think would do so well did way better and sold out and the ones that I didn't think would do, uh, the ones that I thought would do quite well didn't do well at all. So it's hard and it is a big gamble um, but for me personally I felt that I had enough before I launched my business and before I purchased all the items that I did, I felt that I had enough of a customer base already that I'd be fine um, in selling out. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't go crazy and I didn't buy like 20 things of one item. But the things that I did believe would sell quite quickly, I got a lot of. And I did actually get a lot more than I would say. I would say if you're starting out with um, no customer base. So I already felt that I had a customer base because I had a lot of friends that were interested. A lot of my followers on Instagram were interested. A lot of YouTube um, watches were interested. I just had a lot of people... Um, kind of message me about the business and like comments and stuff saying how excited they were. Um, so I felt that I had enough of a customer base to purchase a lot higher than I, than I think a lot of people should. Um, like obviously I don't have a huge follow following or anything but I did feel like I had enough of a customer base if that kind of makes sense. Like if you feel like you are going to get out there and start your business you don't feel like you're going to have a lot of people coming to your website, like you think you're going to rely a lot on ads, marketing, etc, etc. I would say start super low. Um, there's nothing worse than having product that you can't move out. It's always safer to go lower, but then at the same time, 
it can get really stressful like when I first launched I had so many things that needed to be restocked and that got super stressful because then you didn't know how many people missed out and again the same thing would happen then we sold out of those and then I had to get more restocks and I didn't know what to yeah so it's honestly a gamble and it's pretty much trial and error you have to figure out how many people roughly you are going to be able to sell to. I was pretty confident in the launch of my business and how much support I had prior that I would sell out of a lot of things and I did. So yeah it's pretty much trial and error and whatever feels best for you but I would just say don't go purchasing like hundreds of things because you're not going to sell them. So I hope that made sense. This video is going to be so long, I can already feel it. Alright, are you planning on doing this full time? What are your goals? For me personally, I have a lot of goals. There are a lot of businesses I want to start up in the future. Um, but Zeta is something that I've been passionate about for so long. Um, I said it in my Q&A on, on the Zeta Instagram when I first launched. But clothing is not a good market to get into. I would say if you are wanting to start a business for money, do not start a clothing company. Like, just don't. You will not make a lot of money. It is an extremely difficult market to get into, and especially living in a country um, like New Zealand, it's very hard to get product, um, shipping costs, so everything is a lot more expensive. So it's a very hard market. So it's just something that I feel like in my life I have to do. I am so passionate about it and that's another thing that I say. If you are not passionate about what you're selling or about what you're doing, it's going to fail. Like it will fail. You can't expect um, other people to love it if you don't love it yourself. Um, so I would say be super passionate about it. That's what I, I'm so passionate about Zeta. I just love it. I love the, I love the, um... I love the behind the scenes of it. I just love the whole process. It's just for me, yeah, I love it. Basically, yeah, this is just my passion and I'm going to be starting more businesses, um, more for like income purposes, etc, etc. But um, yes, I am planning on doing this full time. I'm planning on just being self-employed um, full time. So working on this business, I'll be starting my other businesses, um, working on YouTube, that's the goal. Um, and I actually have some news coming um, in probably the next month. No, the next. Oh my god. It'll probably be up in the next three weeks, maybe four, um, of some really exciting news. So stay tuned for that. Um, this girl's just saying that she's a fashion student and she wants to start her own label, but no idea where to start. Um, as I said in the beginning, Research, 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 research. Watch a million videos of people who have already done it and more in-depth videos on how to do it. With your own label, you're going to have to look a lot more into what I said before, but a lot more into manufacturers, which is going to take you a lot longer and it'll be a lot harder. But at the same time, it could be worth it a lot more. So, Did you design your website yourself or did you get help from a graphic designer? No, I did all my website by myself. Um, I did my best friend Jazz. She is um, in like she does a lot of design stuff. Um, so anytime I'd ask, I'd ask her sometimes like with my logo, like if this looked good, if this looked good. Um, I'd ask her about my website, like what kind of like looks good and stuff. But I did do it all myself. Um, I just asked for a lot of opinions as well on what it looked like. Again, there are so many questions on just how I started, what planning I need to do. Um, so pretty much what I said in the beginning of this video is just how I started it. Um, oh, will you be doing any bikini slash swimsuits for summer? So unfortunately not this summer. We, I just didn't have the time. I work full time. I just couldn't commit to doing something like that so soon. Um, but next summer we will 100% hopefully be bringing out our own line. So as in like hopefully manufacturing it and stuff ourselves. Um, that's one of my goals. Um, what inspired you to start up a business? I have always wanted to be self-employed. Um, I can't stand working for other people. I feel like I have so much to bring and, um, I just feel like bringing everything that I can and giving it to someone else is just a waste. Like, I would love to just do it for myself. So, um, I've just always been super passionate about starting a clothing business. I don't know what it is about it. I honestly don't. I have just always wanted to do it and I'm really just fulfilling my dreams of doing that right now. See, so, 
how did you find your suppliers, vendors, manufacturers? Intensive research. I'm still not entirely happy with my vendors and wholesalers. I want to be finding a lot more. I want to be doing like plus sizes. I want to do petite ranges, tall ranges, um, swimwear, like so much different things. Uh, so I'm consistently still on the look for vendors and stuff. It's extremely hard because obviously I live in New Zealand, so I'm pretty much limited to Australia. Um, I'm going to be, next year I'm going to be looking a lot more into getting product from America, but to do that I have to go through a lot of customs. That's the other thing. Uh, customs, if you're getting products over a thousand dollars and you have to have customs licenses, etc, etc. So I'm working on all of that next year. Alright, what is everything you need for shipping products out to customers? Okay, so for me personally, I'll just list everything that I use. So first off, I need my tags, so my swing tags that I put on the clothes. You then need the string that attaches it to the um, label. I also have my own labels that I buy and sew on myself, which say Zeta and stuff on it. Not all my products can have that label, but a lot of them do. Um, I then wrap everything up in tissue paper, so you have to pay for the tissue paper. I put a thank you um, card note in it, so I get that online, you have to purchase a big bulk of those. Um, I then wrap it up and I put a sticker on it, so I have stickers that say Zeta on it. Um, and then I pop it into a poly mailer bag, so you have to purchase the poly mailer bags or boxes, whatever you're going to use. Um, and then you have to pay for the shipping label. So I personally don't have a label printer. It's something I'm going to be getting next year. Um, but yeah, you need stuff like that. Also, you need just generic stuff like scissors, tapes, um, yeah, poly mailers, shipping scales, um, tagging gun if you're not wanting to get one of those like attaching ones. Um, yeah, I can do a whole like detailed video on that as well if you guys want or in a vlog. Maybe I'll start doing some business vlogs that are like purely related to starting a business. Someone said who I contacted to help me. Um, I know you probably don't want to hear it, but I did it all myself. I am the... I'm just everything of the business like I don't I don't have any employees it's just me I do all the shipping I do all the websites I do all the promos I do all the ordering of the items I do all the shipping I do all the photos I'm the mo <laughs> I'm the model the photographer the editor um, I do everything for the business something I have a whole bunch of goals that I'm going to be doing next year to really scale up the business. Um, again, I've got exciting news coming in a, probably about a month. Um, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff I'm going to be doing next year to really improve this business. I just, I'm like overflowed with ideas and it frustrates me that I don't have the time to do it. But um, yeah, expect to see a lot of bigger changes and makeovers and just like exciting things happening with Zeta. So I'm going to cut this video here because I'm pretty sure I've been talking for an hour now and I'm not looking forward to editing this video. Editing this video. Also, I apologize if this video didn't make sense because I feel like it didn't. I really hope it does. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe. I've got a whole bunch of cool content coming. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.